The Honeydew List is brought to you by Honeydew Donuts. Warm up your day with Honeydew's new rich and creamy cinnamon hot chocolate. Do it today. What do you got, T? Well, play as if the Bobcats are the champs. Don't let down on the motivation and no need for turnovers. Don't throw the ball away. Make simple passes. Jermaine O'Neal's got the tip and we're ready to go. See if the Celtics run something for Paul Pierce right away. Thomas is going to defend Pierce. Paul off the bounce. Tries to lay it down to Jermaine, cutting to the hoop, and Jermaine was looking for the shot. Yeah, he was wide open. He sure was. And uh, he should have at least had a half an eye on the ball. <laughs> Would have been a layup. That's what I'm talking about. That was a simple play. You got to love Paul. On the night that he needs 10 points to pass Larry Bird, he passes on the first play. <laughs> Yumbo goes inside. Thomas will jump up. Comes up well short. Garnett is there. Quickly to Rondo. Rajon takes it in the paint. Gets it to Ray. Out to Paul. He's going to take a three. Nope. A little long. Maybe a little nerves. Walker gets it to Dion. Dion the bounce pass underneath. The Yumbo gets stripped. Celtics ball. Celtics ball. Let's take a look at our Subaru key matchup. The young point guard from the University of Connecticut, Kimba Walker, and Rajon Rondo. Rondo up at nine and a half assists a game. Walker down, trying to get the four. KG, little turnaround. Well, that's one of the matchups you can uh, utilize here. It has been a struggle for the Bobcats, and as you can see the way the Celtics are playing defense, it could be a long night for Charlotte here tonight. DR kicks it back out to Walker, five on the shot clock. Walker gives up the dribble, sends it over to Williams. Williams has to shoot it and knocks it down to beat the buzzer. Williams, Williams third-year player out of VMI. Inside, KG misses the layup. DR the other way. Over to Walker. Boy, Walker had an awful lot of fun playing at UConn. He controlled the ball, did almost whatever he wanted to do. Let's see what he can do as a pro. Misses the deep shot, rebound to Pierce. Into the hands of Rondo. A couple of minutes gone here, first quarter. Rondo for an easy two. That was not UConn defense. <laughs> Garnett aggressively out on DR. Riumbo, who is the youngest player in the NBA. Pierce with the rebound. Rondo, a little crossover. Gets it back to Garnett, open for the shot. Boy, KG has just extended his range and is making it look effortless. Two of three shooting for Garnett to open the game tonight. Boston up by three. And he's taking the shots more often now that he should take than uh, passing it up. Thomas trying to make a move on Pierce on the baseline. Rondo nearly stripped him. DR the up fake, kicks it out to Walker, and Walker Misses again. Inside Ray Allen. That's blocked by was it Thomas, I guess, who got a piece of that. Williams kicks it to DR, back to Walker. Paul Salas just does not look like a happy man on the show. Williams, another three. I wouldn't call them bricks, but they're rocks that they're throwing up there. Like that. <laughs> Celtics turn it over. Simple plays, simple plays. No turnovers, please. No turnovers. Number there for Boston in terms of the turnovers gets lost in the midst of this streak. Biombo with his first two. Big guy, Biombo. Yeah, he's got a seven foot seven wingspan. Long arms. 
he's got there. Pierce he finds KG. Yeah, Pierce drew a crowd, and the crowd had left KG. Pierce only one field goal attempt here in the first four and a half minutes. Williams another three and he knocks it down his second ties the game at eight. KG again from Rondo. Perfect pass. Brandon Bass looking to come into the game next whistle. He'll come in for Kevin Garnett. Williams goes baseline, sends it to the corner. Thomas off the bounce, leaves it for Williams. He'll try again. Misses that one. Rebound to KG. Allen running the floor. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Ray. Yeah, Ray was shooting it before he caught it. Let's take a look at this terrific pass. A little backdoor play. Lay right where it had to be, over the top of the man's head. Eight points and three rebounds in the first four minutes of the game for Kevin Garnett as he goes to the bench. Bass in. Bass will pick up Dior. Hands it off to Walker. Dior will launch a three. Rebound O'Neal. Seven of the 11 shots that the Charlotte has tried tonight have been three point field goals. J.O. for two. Uh, what a nice play there. Penetration. They opened it up, took it to the hoop, and then uh, they try to close it down, but too late. Celtics by four halfway through this first quarter. DR. Little hook shot in the lane. Boston by two. Bass is open. Rebound Dion. What a subs getting all that kind of shots. Up to Biombo and Pierce strips it out of bounds, but Paul got the last hand on it. And we got a timeout. Rajon Rondo finding Jermaine O'Neal here for an easy two. And that's the difference in the game. in his knee before the win over the Knicks on Friday. Obviously, he missed that game. He also admitted that things were more mental than physical, saying when things don't feel right, you start to think about it more. Well, he doesn't think about it anymore because the training staff and the medical staff have given him full clearance, and he's ready to go. Mike, Tommy? All right, Greg, thanks very much. 527 to go here in the first. Boston up by two. Celtic fans, don't miss your chance to see the Seas live in action at the TD Garden this month. A limited number of tickets are on sale now for great February home games. You can see Kobe and the Lakers coming up later this week. Brandon Jennings and the Bucks, and many other exciting matchups. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit Celtics.com. Call 866-4-CELTIX or visit the TD Garden box office. Well, Wilcox has entered the game for Boston. So the uh, the front line has changed a little bit. The big guys, anyway. He had a strange stat the other night. He scored 10 of his 12 points in the first quarter, even though he didn't start the game. Williams off the bounce. Skips it. Thomas. Nope. Foul is going against Charlotte. Loose ball following Charlotte's number 32. It's on Dion. Yeah, Paul that Pierce is right in the middle of that thing. And, uh, you know, they were having rebounding problems. Paul Pierce, I think, made it his personal challenge to solve it. With five minutes to go in the first quarter, that was the first foul of the game. Rondo knocks down a jump shot. You can see the Celtics have out rebounded their opponents in the last three, 131 to 114. And that's almost a plus six per game. Thomas knocks down the tires. Thomas. Thomas began his career with the Chicago Bulls. Rondo. It's going to 
be a foul on Reggie Williams so running out on Ray Allen. Took him off the line, but uh, nice play by Ray. A little up fake. Biombo is going to take a seat. Byron Mullins comes into the game, and Michael Pietras has come in for Boston. He replaces Ray Allen. Michael celebrating a birthday today is 30th. Rondo kind of holding off Walker with one hand gets a screen from Bass bounces off Thomas. To beat the shot clock rebound to Mullins. Mullins out of Ohio State good kick. Williams to the bucket for two. He's a left tied at 14. You got to go. Uh, yeah. Look at that scouting report. He's yeah. a left. Yeah. 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 Pierce trying to get himself free. Rises up. Nope. Looking shots. But they're right in this game, tied at 14. Rondo gets in the paint, gets two. Well, uh, Ken, Kimba Walker played underneath the pick, but it made no difference to Rondo. He just kept going and reversed the field. Beautiful move by. Rajan. Celtics 8 of 14 in the game, 57%. Charlotte. <laughs> They're missing a lot of shots. There's two. Boy, well, Vance was up there. Eight to go. And that helped create the opening for Pierce. A hard run by Bass. Four assists already for Rondo in the quarter. Mullins gets free for two. Avery Bradley's going to come in for Boston next whistle. He was scoring very effectively, Mullins, coming off the bench. And uh, when it became a starter, and all of a sudden he couldn't score anymore. Pierce got Mullins in a switch. Misses a three. Rebound tracked down by Walker. Every Celtic fought over the top of the pitch. Walker gets to the basket. That was nifty dribbling right there. They jumped out off the pick and roll, and he just crossed over and right up the gap. Under two minutes to go here. Pierce drops it off to Bass for two and a foul. Bass a chance for an old fashioned three point play, but first we're going to get a timeout. It's Paul Pierce's night. Those are his first two. He's got eight to go. In quarter number one, just a reminder to look for the Miller Lite Taste Greatness moment that'll be coming up later on in tonight's game. Also, a chance to remind you the TD Bank Community Clubhouse and the Boston Celtics would like to welcome. Rehabilitative Resources Incorporated from Sturbridge, Mass. to tonight's game. A TD Bank will committed to supporting the communities we serve by making a difference together. Let's take a look at uh, what Walker's capable of doing. Now, a little crossover dribble as uh, Bass lit. Too much room there for the crossover. And this kid is quick and he can dribble. And with 131 to go in the quarter, this is the first free throw for either side in the game. Celtics still have not been whistled for a foul. It's because you were so cordial to the officials before the game. You see, see the that, connection. Right? See? You see the connection. I, I, I know how to do it now. 
Mullins, good look inside. 21-20. Not going according to script here. Charlotte coming in 3-21 and 21 on the year. Even though the last three times they have played the Celtics, they have been close games. All decided by five points or less. Mullins with the steal. Williams to Brown for two. Well, turnovers. They have yet to commit a turnover. That's right. Celtics have four. four. Mike Gorman along with Tom Lansing, Greg Dickinson. Glad you could join us on this night that Paul Pierce attacks Larry Bird and gets a little closer there. A chance for three-point play. Uh, that is really one athletic drive here. They thought they had shut him down. Now watch the defender drops down to cut him off, and then he just steps right around him. Beautifully done. That's a guy that knows how to get where he wants to get to. Needs five. That was a get to show. He's got the whole offensive game. The entire offensive game. So the foul is Avery Bradley picks up a foul. Avery Bradley, that's his first personal first in the last. Paul could shoot minutes. threes. He's got the mid range jumper. Can take it to the basket. Shoot free throws. It's the entire offensive package. Celtics should see the ball one more time here in the first quarter. Leading by two. That was a pass to DJ Augustine, who unfortunately is wearing a suit over there. On the side. <laughs> there he is. And a nice suit. That's right. He's looking good. And your kind of tie. You'd love those strike ties. I would like that. Yeah. Corey Higgins is going to check into the game. And Mullins will come out. Sounds got 14 seconds to get a shot off here. 24 22, Boston by two, Rondo. Well, pick it up. Goes to the basket. Michael Beatrice for three. Michael for three. Williams from half court. The and the Celtics' largest lead is the difference after one 27 22. Paul Pierce in his chase of Larry Bird. He is halfway there. Five points in the first quarter for Paul. Five points the difference in the game 27 22. I'm going to go out there and prove a lot of people wrong that I should have been their pick. But you know, I'm happy Boston gave me this opportunity. We are back here at the TD Garden where the Celtics shoot 63% and have a 27-22 lead at the end of one over the Charlotte Bobcats. Celtics on demand is back. Check out behind the scenes footage of the players, coaches, and the Celtic dancers all season long. And also learn from the pros, a series that's just been added. Celtics on demand exclusively on Xfinity TV only from Comcast. Pierce has gone to the bench. It is Bradley, Bass, Wilcox, Pietras, and Pavlovich. Williams stays out there. He's played the whole game so far. White takes a jumper. And Bass is going to be called for the foul on the arm. First quarter stats are brought to you by Ace Ticket. Call 1 800 My Seats or visit aceticket.com for the best seats to all games. There's that lofty shooting percentage for Boston. Turnovers uh, cost them a little bit. P.J. White, fourth-year player out of Indiana, works down the first. Now this is a uh, a very difficult squad for Paul Pilot, Paul, Paul Silas to coach. Not only the injuries, but um, they really change the personnel wholesale to the point where they're they're starting from the ground up again. 
they had a pretty competitive team last year. See if Paul can develop players. Beatrice with five on the shot clock finds Bass. He comes up short. Rebound slapped around out of bounds. Gonna be Boston ball. Nice play by Pavlovich. Hands old Paul. Yeah. Don't call him old Paul, no. Come on. Just because he's the oldest coach in the league. Old Paul. What a rebound. Really a terrific defender, too. Bradley turns the corner and buries the jump shot. Bradley. Williams quickly the other way. Minute gone here. Second quarter. 29 24, Boston by five. Bradley denying Higgins the ball. Higgins finally gets it with three seconds to go. He's going to shoot it. And he doesn't. Credit Avery Bradley for that turnover yep. right there. Well, the Celtics, number five. Well, and he uh, sets his sight on you to uh, defend you. <laughs> Best move is to get rid of the yeah, ball. Get rid of the ball is exactly right. <laughs> get it to somebody else. Jameer Nelson found that out the hard way. Wilcox puts it on the court, goes to the bucket. Nope. Oh, good rebound. <laughs> Michael Pietras misses a three from the corner. Checked down by Brown. Brown looks like he wants to go coast to coast, gives it up to Mullins last second. Kevin Garnett back in the game for Boston. Williams, a chance for a three point play. Uh, Williams is lefty, and uh, watch uh, Petrus. I mean, he hits Petrus right in the chest. What are you supposed to do? Back up and let him shoot? Williams with 10 points already in the game, averages just about 10 a game. Make it 11, and make it a two point game at 29 27. Two minutes gone, second quarter. Their fifth turn. Wilcox on Mullins, who shoots over him for two. We're tied at 29. The Celtics had opened up a five point lead. Back come the Bobcats. Ray Allen looking to get back in the game. Bradley has his pocket picked and then steals it back. Underneath, gets it back. Neely was out of bounds when he got it back. KG for three. Rebound to Brown. Brown again off to the races. Takes it all the way for two. Derek Brown. Derek well, Brown, third year from Xavier. You know, when you play a team like this, uh, you can't let down. You can't play sloppy. 9-2 the Charlotte run. Sasha doesn't catch anything, but Michael catches the rebound. I tell you, more weak side rebounding like that. That's what the Celtics could use. That was a three step run by Petrus to get that put back. That's energy. Williams backs it up, eight on the shot clock. Mullins gives it up. Rebound to Bradley. Pavlovich running the floor, so is Wilcox, and to the hands of Pietras out of bounds. And we'll get a timeout. Turnovers haunting the Celtics a little bit here. Here's Michael's good follow of the miss. 31 apiece. Here in the first half, we are tied at 31. Hey, you can wrap up the football season with one last edition of the only night dedicated exclusively to the Patriots. New England Football Night presented by AT&T. It all begins with Quick Slants presented by Nissan Wednesday at 730 only on Comcast 
Sportsnet. With a Simmons sideline report, here's Greg. Mike, thanks so much. Tonight is simply a great night in the life of Greg Steens. <laughs> he doesn't even have to score a point. Heck, he doesn't even have to get into the basketball game. That's because his contract has been guaranteed for the remainder of the season. Now, he hasn't gotten any official notice from the Celtics, but to hear Greg tell it, he walked into the locker room tonight. His jersey was still there and his chair was still there. So he said, well, that's just kind of a case of no news is good news. He did say despite the fact that his contract is guaranteed, he'll be reminded to keep working, keep building, and even though that contract is guaranteed, he won't lose his drive in the NBA, guys. I'm happy to have Greg with us the rest of the year. Good kid, and I think he's going to be a help to the Celtics. Mullins comes up shooting and doesn't catch anything. Good play underneath there by Brown. He's had some good minutes since coming off the Charlotte French. But Walker unable to get the shot off in time. 24-second violation, Celtics ball. KG needs a little help. Gets it into Jermaine O'Neal. Now Bradley. 31 apiece, just under eight to go first half. KG, nice fake. Traveled with it. Too nice, I Traveling guess. Violation, that was a great up fake there. And he wasn't quite sure who was coming down from the top. That's the seventh Boston turnover with 740 to go in the half. Carroll gets it to Mullins. Will hand off for Walker. Back to Mullins. Sasha gets a hand on it. Carroll gets the loose ball. Nice play. Derek Brown. Derek Brown gets the two. Charlotte by two. Paul Pierce, Rajon Ronda will come back in for Boston next whistle. Uh, that was not a good play by Bradley. And they were trying to get KG the ball, but uh, there was a man coming underneath to uh, KG was being fronted, and there was a man helping out from behind. That was uh, a fake pass and moved the ball around the horn, and there's only seven seconds on the shot clock. Somebody he might have even tried to dribble. Celta back to the starting five. Ray trying to get it to Paul underneath. Remains Boston ball. Seven on the shot clock. Pierce with five points, five away from second place all time. KG, tough shot, makes it. Let me see the rim. Five of seven shooting for Garnett. Ten points for a Celtic in double figures here. Yeah, last couple of games, he's been really. Well, that was not a bad play by Walker. Uh, as KG left his man to help out the guy using the pick. If the pick man of Charlotte had been alert, he had a layup. Barnett. Yeah, the pass was underneath the basket, and that's all KG could do. Mullins off the catch for two. Mullins has got six off the Charlotte bench. The Bobcats have a two-point lead. Looking for Pierce from the corner. Got it. Seven for Pierce. Three away. And we're going to take a timeout. Paul Pierce, a three-point field goal away from second place all time on the Celtics scoring list. Back here in the TD Garden, 548 remaining first half. Celtics and Bobcats tied at 35. Paul Pierce wants Kevin Garnett to shoot more threes, but KG doesn't want to hear it from Paul or from anybody else.
When I walk around the streets, y'all stop acting like y'all shocked that I can shoot threes, all right? <laughs> everybody in Boston, everybody in the world, everybody in Minnesota, LA, wherever I'm at, Concord, Lexington, Burlington, I can shoot threes, okay? Let that go, I can shoot threes. You know how they used to do scow, shoot? No, don't do that to me. <laughs> do not do that to me, okay? I'm not on the Celtics be, to be out here shooting threes, okay? I am here to do other things, not shoot threes, but I can shoot threes, okay? <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Doc Rivers told me before the game tonight, if you watch Kevin Garnett during warm-ups, at the very end of warm-ups, his last 10 shots, all threes. He can make them, just, just doesn't always shoot them. Charlotte turns it over. Tied at 35 here. Pierce three points away from second place. Pierce to the basket, no rebound. Jermaine O'Neal, all the smile on his face. Mullins comes away with it. Walker, nope. Good position by O'Neal on Mullins, and able to Garnett to come up with the rebound. Celtics find Gray. To O'Neal, out to Pierce, takes it. Nope. Walker with ten on the shot clock. Dr. Fumbled it to Mullins, and he got fouled. Celtics follows on number five, Kevin Garnett. That's his first personal third team KG foul. with the foul. That'll be his first, and it's the third team foul. Byron Mullins will be at the line. Mullins has really found his way in the NBA this year. First two years, averaged just a point a game and shot 34% from the field. Then you can see this season, his scoring average up to 10.8, shooting 46%. Give the Bobcats the lead, and you can't on that one. Celtics basketball on Comcast Sportsnet is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines. Find out fares only at southwest.com. Bass is in for Garnett. KG sits down 10 points, four rebounds. And I got to take a shot with Mullins. He's only 22 years old. Yeah. Uh, and he's already got a full body. You know, and he. Uh, He's big kid. Yeah, he's seven feet. Yeah, and uh, he sure has a touch. Went to Ohio State and left after a couple of years. Rondo trying to get it inside to Pierce. Uh, It'll stay Celtics ball. 13 on the shot clock. For Charlotte, number zero, Bismack Biondo replaces Byron Mullins. Bismack Biondo comes back in. Get Nancy here. You yeah. know that? Want, Are you? I want ball. Dude. Come on. Hit a, hit a three. Just hit a three. Ray Allen for two. Celtics <laughs> really are very good at getting layups off those inbounds under their own basket. One for two shooting for Ray tonight. Pierce is three for eight. But he has four assists in the game. It's going to be a foul on Bass. He's on Ray. That's his first personal fourth team foul. Fourth team foul. Well, you got to go to the basket here against this basketball team. The Celts now have four fouls on them, and uh, Charlotte, none. Young boy. Here comes Pierce. Fifth rebound for Paul. Pierce goes baseline, kicks it out to Rondo. Rondo back to Paul. Out of bounds and it stays. Celtic ball. Celtic ball. Paul looking at Rajon saying, don't force it. 
Well, there's a man standing there anticipating what Rondo did. You know, bounced the little well, Charlotte, back bounce pass. Line, Reggie Williams back into the game, replacing Matt Carroll. Williams in Carolina. Over to Paul. Here it is. Rebound taken down by Thomas. Thomas on the other end. No. Kick. Looks like he caught his own shot. I think they say one of the Celtics got a piece of it. That's a foul on Thomas. Charlotte Paul is on number 12. Tyrus Thomas. Time to look at the first of three Amica game updates presented by Amica's three point coverage auto, home, and life. Seven turnovers not helping Doc Rivers' cause. The Bobcats capitalizing on it. Rondo gets it to Ray. Allen doubles. Skips it back to Rondo. Five on the shot clock. Rondo will take it himself. No, didn't catch any iron. Right into the hands of Williams. Up to DR. DR trying to lay it down. Jermaine O'Neal saves it. Rondo and Pierce to Ray. Nearly stumbled on the three point line. Goes underneath to Bass. Brandon, a couple of fakes and two. 39-36 Boston by three. Approaching two minutes to go in the half. And a timeout. Time it's taken by Charlotte. We'll take it to 214 on the clock. 39-36 Boston. Pierce is three away. 36. NBA News is brought to you by Toyota's official website for deals. Buy at Toyota.com. Jeremy Lin, the Harvard product, once again leading the Knicks to a win with 28 points against Utah last night after Carmelo Anthony went down with an injury. The best part of that game, Tom, was at the end of the game when they interviewed Lin on the court. The Garden fans chanted MVP. <laughs> Chauncey Billups, unfortunately, out with a season ending injury, torn Achilles. And the Clippers win over the Magic last night. Join us, one hour pregame show against the Lakers, and then postgame coverage all here on Comcast Sportsnet on Thursday night. So the foul is on number 20, Ray Allen. That's his second personal. Ray picks up his second, and Williams will be back to the free throw line. He's the leading scorer in the game right now with 11. Now, Ray uh, was talking to um, Wilcox because the. Uh, Strategy of uh, how to handle a guy coming off that little pick in that side of the floor, a lefty, really kind of would ask uh, Wilcox to step up and don't let him roll to the basket until Ray catches up to him. As Ray was fighting over the top to stay with him. And uh, that's why he ended up fouling Williams. Approaching two minutes here to go in the half. Two minutes to play in the quarter. Pierce gives it up to Bass. Over to Rondo. Rajon looking for a screen. Gets it. Three on the shot clock. Bass aware of it. Knocks it down. Boy, that kid, when he takes jump shots. He's good. Three of five shooting for Bass tonight. Seven points. Boston by four. Williams. Nobody home. Now Williams had the shot that time. Six turnovers now for Charlotte. Pierce down on the baseline. Ray comes out on the other side. Ray kicks it to Paul in the corner. He couldn't quite get to it. Turns it over. What turnover is that? Eight, eight, nine, eight. 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 I'm pulling my hair out at turnovers. 
Mike Gorman, Tom Wait Hudson. A <laughs> easy, easy on that. Greg yeah, Dickinson. Left. I was going to say, it out. Yeah. won't be long. Dion taking it to the bucket. Nothing doing. Wilcox gets it to Rondo Pierce, legging it up the floor. Rondo throws it up on the run himself and gets fouled. Kemba Walker picks up the foul. That's his first. Personal fouls in the game are even six apiece. Low number here in the first half. Only one player in the game, Ray Allen, with two fouls. The 400th career game for Rajon Rondo tonight. Don't forget to stay tuned for Halftime Live, presented by McDonald's. Gary and Donnie will be along for some highlights and analysis. Bob Newmeyer will have a Sportsnet Central update. That's all coming your way at halftime, presented by McDonald's. Selfs by six. Matches Boston's biggest lead. Walker in the paint. Underneath. The youngster gets fouled and will get to the line. That was, that was a nifty pass by Walker. I mean, uh, he absolutely made the right play. And uh, this was a little bit in question of what he was capable of doing, reading and, and the good basketball IQ. But that was exactly the right pass to the right guy at the right time. Now they have been, uh, Augustine is more of a scorer. Then a point guard, a distributor of the ball. Now Walker made his reputation as a scorer more than as a uh, a guy that distributed it and set up other people like Rondo does. So uh, there's a makeover going on at the point guard position for the, the Bobcats. Here's Max from the Republic of the Congo. Speaks five languages English, Spanish, French, Swahili, and Lingala. Rondo needs a little help. Oh, that's a long foul count. Right by that guy. Rajan lays it down. Bass fouled by Miyombo. But uh, he'll go to the line anyway. They're over the limit. Nice play by Rajan. Lays it down. Foul was on Dion, not Biombo, for the little push. For Charlotte, number eight, DJ White back into the game. White back into the game. Gets his ball, a chance to get a shot off, decent shot off. Depends upon how far down the Bobcats take it. Three and a half second difference right now. Celtics with their largest lead, seven. Walker in a bit of trouble. Rondo the loose ball. Kicks it over. Pierce to pass Larry, and he comes up short. Very quickly in this uh, second half. One thing the coaches said about the defense is they were a little late. They were a little slow on pick and rolls. On the offensive end, they used two L's loose and lackadaisical. That led to eight turnovers in that first half. Celtics offensively also not looking for that second or third option, kind of settling for that first shot on the offensive side of the floor. Walker does not get the bounce. Pierce, who behind the back move, kicks it over to Ray Allen. Take a look at the halftime stats brought to you by Ace Ticket. Call 1 800 My Seats or visit aceticket.com for the best seats to all games. 50% shooting for the Celtics, not bad. Walker. Nope. It was rather late. I think he just. Uh, Threw himself off balance. I don't. Let's see what happened. O'Neal gets these chintzy fouls called on. Him. 
Wow, that was, I mean, you watched the official down there. It was such a late call. Uh, that's big guy, little guy stuff. <laughs> you know how I feel about that big, big guy, guy little, little guy, guy stuff. stuff. I know. You know. you know, little guy gets the break. Big guy, what are you doing that for? I'm with you. Neil, Jermaine, I'm with you. Walker's shooting just 36 percent from the floor in his rookie year. Well, of course they want him to fit into the system, and uh, they didn't have a training camp, so he doesn't know where his shots are. They don't want him going off one on one. Jermaine drops it to Rondo. Rondo finds Pierce, pulls up for a little jumper now. Okay, this is way off the mark here. Yeah. Three of eleven. Thomas can't do much, throws it back out to Walker, and they're already down to 10 on the shot clock. Walker with a bounce pass. The Umbo comes up short. Rondo looking both ways, tries to go to KG. Williams is able to track it down. KG comes up with it. Rondo finds Pierce. Here we go. Got it. Paul Pierce is second all time on the Celtics scoring list. His wife and mom celebrating in the stands. Jermaine O'Neal the foul, but the moment belongs to Paul Pierce. What a moment, you know, when uh, something like this happens in a player's career. Uh, it's just something you never, never, never forget. Why is he? Uh... O'Neal picked up a technical foul. Oh. Lost in the moment, though. Yeah, we watched this guy come in as a rookie. We saw him try to uh, develop his career. Great diligence. Worked on his game like all the great players do. Continued to add things on. And one day, that 34 will be right up there. They remain standing here at the TD Garden, applauding Paul Pierce. Uh, he's, so many great games he's played and key shots. Walker in a hurry. Knocks down the jump shot. Walker. Kemba Walker seems to thoroughly enjoy playing the game. I mean, he's laughing, he's joking, he's smiling the whole time he's out there. KG with an easy two. KG! I'm not sure how that works when you're three and 21. But you know, uh, he, he, he is he enthusiastic. The, yeah, he gave you the same impression when he was at UConn. KG gets a hand in there and deflects it out of bounds. Nine in the shot clock. He'd be uh, a spirited guy if he's a serious player too, which I think he is. 50-45, Boston by five. I'm about five. <laughs> well, they're very liberal on those tonight. Sells so come up with a turnover. Rondo gets some help from Pearson Allen running the floor, takes it in himself, and gets two. Good play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pierce and Thomas. Let's see what we can see. 
As the rebound. Battling for the rebound underneath. And Thomas just grabbed him and then uh, Pierce. Hey Thomas, go home. Go home and have a cookie and a glass of milk, will you? Go to bed. Well, somebody may be going home here. The officials are talking it over at half court. And Pierce was running up the floor. <laughs> he grabbed him. The best thing they can do right now is just play on, play guys. On. Play on. Don't make a big deal out of it. Play Come on. on. Let's see in some of the action here. Take another look. Play on. Come on. It is a contact sport after all. I want to tell you, I'm getting so sick of this type of type of thing. Now, we'll, if, if they go over to the uh, to the monitor, well, while they work it out, the most convenient way to reach us is by sending a question to Tommy and Mike's mailbag. Send one by liking us at Facebook.com/slash CSNNE on Twitter at hashtag CelticsPGL or on CSNNE.com slash PGL. Then watch pregame live to see if Tommy answers your question. It's brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. You have plenty of time to do all of those things right now. As a matter of fact. We'll wait. Technical fouls have been called on Tyrus Thomas and Paul Pierce. Double technical fouls. Doc not happy with the resolution. I wouldn't be either. I mean, this is the same old, same old. You know, if in doubt, give each one a technical. Let I'd rather let it go because all these double technicals. Remember, it precluded Perkins playing in the playoffs one year. Yeah. It really put him on the edge. And this is stupid. You think? You've made our point. Seven point game. Nine minutes to go, third quarter. Paul Pierce has established himself as the number two all time leading scorer for the Boston Celtics with 10. That's the number he needed. Now we can just get back to basketball. Offensive, Offensive foul. Jermaine O'Neal giving it up. I tell you, this guy. Really gives up the body. He's tied for second in the league. Or he is third rather in the league right now as we update those stats. With 20 charges taken this year. Walker with the miss. Dion. For deep. Ten points for Walker now, and it's a four point game at 52 48. Through the hands of Ray. Jermaine on the offensive glass. And able to throw it off Biombo out of bounds. Here's another look at the shot by Paul to move into second place all time. Yeah, they kick it out. They knew that uh, he was lined up there on the three-point line. He knew it too. Exactly what he needed. Kevin Garnett knocks down a jumper. 14 points for Garnett on seven of 11 shooting to go with five rebounds. Biombo will hand off to Walker. Dr. Five on the shot clock. Walker outside the three-point line. Takes it into the lane. And Thomas barely caught eye in there. Williams tried to save it. Jermaine O'Neal picked it off. Pierce for two. Oh, what a nice pass. He faked it to Ray and then just threw that high hopping bounce pass. 10 points, 10 assists for Rondo in the game. Celtics opening up to eight. Jerry 
climbing violation is called on Williams. For Charlotte, number four, Derek Brown. Derek Brown is going to come back in, and Tyrus Thomas will go to the bench. Tyrus Thomas uh, really never turned out to be nope. what people thought he might be. He was the more athletic of the two LSU players, Big Baby being the other one. Here's a handoff for Rondo. Rondo kicks it to Garnett. Ray open for three. And the Celtics up at 2 11, 59 48. 11 3, the Boston run, and the crowd is in it. Brown hits a baseline jumper. Derek Brown. Brown is four for four off the Charlotte bench. Here's step back three. Williams retreats. Pulls up for a three. Interesting possession of the ball. Silas Williams was the only guy who touched the ball. Rondo. Ooh, I would have brought the house down. Even Rajon liked that attempt. Oh, Garnett gets a hand in there and gets the block. Rondo to Ray. Pull up three. Rebound Biombo. He'll be whistled for the foul, and we're going to get a timeout. Paul Pierce setting himself up for history. Buries the three. Second all-time on the Boston scoring list, Paul Pierce. He's to move up numerous records. All-time scoring list now. Only John Havlicek has scored more points in a Boston Celtic uniform than Paul Pierce. And here's a look at what happened during the timeout when the official announcement was made. Let's listen. Now everybody on the Celtic team, in the organization, in the front office know how much of a competitor Paul Pierce is, how much he loves to play basketball. I'll bet you if he's able, he'll play till he's 100. One of those guys, like. Hey, you, you, you saw that footage earlier of him being drafted by the Celtics. Aside from a little growth there, he hasn't changed all that much. No. A little bit of facial hair, that's about it. Williams for the second of two, Boston by eight here, 514 to go in the third. And you hear uh, Doc talk about uh, people not recognizing how good an athlete Paul Pierce is. They don't think, uh, you know, he's one of those great athletes, but he sure is. And when he needs to be the athlete, he becomes terrific. Ray knocks down a jumper. Salts by nine again. Dion defended by Bass. Williams can't spin it home. Rondo comes away with it. Bounce pass Ray. Fakes the three. Takes the two. Ray suddenly four for eight. Nine points in the game. Well, you well know that's what Ray's capable of. Get him involved, he'll produce. Celtics second half defense over the last nine games has just been unbelievable. Again, they came into the game tonight number one in field goal defense, number one defending the three, and number two fewest points allowed per game. Ray dribbles it out of bounds. 
Ninth Boston turnover. Byron Mullins back in the game, and Biombo goes out. Michael Petrus replaces number 34. And Paul Pierce gets another hand. Well deserved. in the third quarter for Walker. We had two in the first half. Ray gets into the paint. And he gets to the hoop. <laughs> he also covered a lot of ground there. Ray one for two in the first half, four for seven here in the third quarter. Pietras against the Rondo over to Ray, pull up three. And that's going to get us a timeout. Two minutes, 49 seconds left to go here, third quarter. Celtics looking to make it nine of their last ten. And they're up by 11. Celtics up 11 here in the third quarter. Paul Pierce, number two all time in the Celtics scoring list. Let's flash back to his first game as a Celtic. Pierce gets it back, takes it in, gets two. Anderson kicks it, Pierce is going to take it, and make it three. Uh, he's the man. Pierce. Oh. Oh. Hello, Paul Pierce. Oh, nice defense by Pierce. Again, Pierce with the block. Boy, those are the little things that Paul Pierce is going to bring to this basketball team. They're going to love Paul Pierce. Nice call in his first game there, T. You knew it right away. Love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell great players, I, I believe, uh, just by the way they warm up even. <laughs> first time I saw Larry Bird, uh, uh, I saw him warming up in, uh, in a game, and uh, Red, Red was there. It's the first time he saw him. And uh, we both looked and gave each other a nod. And he hadn't played a minute of basketball <laughs> yet. Just the way he warmed up. Here's what it looks like, Paul Pierce, there at 21 7 94. Three ahead of Larry Bird. Long way to go. Paul may have to play at least 40. Catch John Amateur. Pierce just comes down with a miss. Nine point game. 225 left to go third quarter. It's Wilcox, Allen, Bass, Pietrus, and Rondo. Ray comes up shooting. And rattles on the three. No, a deep two. Ray a little disturbed. We'll look at the official there. I thought I was behind the line. 13 for Ray, 12 for Pierce, 14 for Garnett, 10 for Rondo. Rondo also with 12 assists in the game. Out of bounds, Charlotte ball. Charlotte with Williams with 16 and Walker with 12. Brown's got 10 off Paul Silas's bench. Carroll looking to inbound. Less than two Finds minutes to play in the quarter. Walker's tip won't go. Gets it back though. White knocks down the jumper. Sixty-seven fifty-eight. Beatrice in and out with the three. Wilcox an offensive rebound. Kicks it back out to Rondo. Celtics have a fresh clock. Beatrice says, I'll take a three though. Wilcox again kept it alive, but this time 
And it's picked off by Brown. Avery Bradley's going to check in for Rondo next week. Pass with the steal. Beatrice comes up with it over to Ray. Takes it in for two. That's a nice heads up defensive play by Bass. We're starting to feel the uh, what the scheme is going to be and how to do it and all that good stuff. Right in a passing lane with his hands up. Came up with the steal. There he is, right in the passing lane. So that if it went to the weak side, it was between the passer and the man that would be the receiver. 13 points for Ray Allen in this third quarter. Mullins fires again and hits that one. He's got nine off of the Bobcat bench. That's the difference in the game right now, 69-60. Well, he's got a shot, and he knows how to make it. Ray coming around the curl. Sends it out to Pietrus. And Michael stepped out of bounds. No basket. Out of bounds violation. Charlie Hall. Doc Cup telling Haywood Workman he was not out of bounds. Well, even if he was out of bounds, he came in bounds yeah, I thought before he, he caught the ball. Yep. The official blew the whistle actually before he got the ball. Right, right. Which made no sense. Walk into the bucket. He'll get to the free throw line with 5.2 on the clock. Now that's a nifty move there. That's his third person. This is really nifty. Watch. And he, uh, this kid who uh, is an excellent dribbler. Will get where he wants to get to. Now, if he learns the pro game and where the people are and who's supposed to get it, when, in addition to himself, do I shoot or do I pass? He, he could be a heck of a point guard. The kid out in Cleveland, Irving. Irving. Kyrie Irving. Already does what they hope this kid will do. He knows when to pass and when to shoot, and he's got terrific moves. And this kid looks like he might develop with those terrific moves. Rondo in a hurry. Higgins with the foul. They had one to waste. So the Celtics now have 3.2 seconds on the clock to try to get a shot off here, leading 69 62. Into Rondo. Rondo. Runner's not going to go, and Boston's lead is going to be seven at the end of three. Paul Pierce, it is his night. Celtics just want to hold on and get a win here. And then Paul will get a chance to celebrate with his mom, his family, his wife. Second all time Celtics scoring list. Boston and continues to be a very uh, pleasant winter here in the city. Knock on wood. Third quarter stats are brought to you by Ace Ticket. Call 1 800 My Seats. Kevin Garnett with an exclamation point. Nice Start pass by Pierce. It is Pietrus Pierce. Bass, Garnett, and Bradley. The Charlotte bench is now 11 of 17 from the field. That's about 66% shooting. Brown hasn't missed yet. He's 6 of 6. Beatrice off the catch. Nope. I'd like to see us go to the basket a little bit. More. Yeah, Michael. how many threes, threes have we taken? 19. 19, 19 and threes. Made three of them. Please. 
They've gone to the line uh, 19 times and the Celtics only nine. Higgins doesn't get the shot off. Watch this good play by Pierce now. Gives it to KG and uh, uh, the weak side coming over wasn't quite big enough to bother that guy. Pierce off the dribble leaves it for Bass. The two. Four for six for Brandon Bass off the bench. Six assists for Pierce. Longest streak of his career with five or more assists. 12 straight games now for Paul. Higgins has to give it up. Mullins has to shoot it. And the foul is going to be on White. Loose ball foul on Charlotte's number eight, DJ White. That's his first personal, first team foul. First team foul here, two minutes into this fourth quarter. Boston up by nine. Bradley gets it back to Bass. Wow. Brandon's getting some open look, so a good play by Avery to get the loose ball. Keeps the dribble alive. Sounds got a fresh clock out of all this. Pierce thought about a three. Takes it into the lane, lays it down to Avery. And that little play there, Avery coming out of the corner. We've discussed how many times people stay in the corner for the three. Bradley loves to come along the baseline. He gets open almost every time. White. Nope. Rebound Pierce. Hey, that was nice defense that time by Bass. He almost uh, faked himself out, but he got back into play. Pierce dumps it off to Garnett. KG thought about it. Gets it to Bradley. Back to Bass. Back to Kevin. Get in the hands of Paul. Lots of touches. Down to six on the clock. KG's going to have to shoot it. Does. Got it. That's what is known as in your face. Nine of 13 shooting for Kevin Garnett. 18 points, five rebounds. Timeout. 8.37 to go in the game. Celtics have their largest lead. It's 13. 8.37 to go in the game. Celtics up by 13. Hey, if you want to blog about tonight's game, head over to Celtics.com right now in the all-new Game Time Live presented by Sun Life Financial. Game Time Live provides live stats and commentary throughout every game and allows Celtic fans from all around the world to chat in real time. If you're on Twitter, join the conversation by using the hashtag Celtics Chat. Let's check in with Greg. Hi, Mike. Thanks so much. Just two assists, two rebounds away from a triple-double for Paul Pierce tonight. I'm with Asherod Blakely from CSNNE.com. You've covered other teams and other markets around the NBA. You tell me, why do you think Paul Pierce has been really overlooked, overlooked a lot in his career? Well, I think the one thing about Paul is everyone knew he could score, but it's the other facets of the game that really people just didn't really believe Paul could do. The one thing he has done since I've been here is he's made guys around him better. You look at this team, they got rolling when he got healthy, and it's no coincidence that Avery Bradley and others started to pick up their game. That's the one thing Paul Pierce does better than he gets credit for, and that's making the guys around him better. I always said Larry Bird made players around him better. Paul Pierce does the exact same thing. Thanks so much, Sherrod Moore from Sherrod Online, CSNNE.com. Mike and Tommy, back over to you. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Bass comes out and sets the screen for Pierce. Now Mullins jumps out on him underneath Bass. Shut off. Bradley loses the handle, tracks it down himself, gets it to Pierce. Paul's going to shoot it. Does. Rebound taken by Dion. Oh, he carried the ball, yeah. 
He got called on that once already tonight. How about twice though? Yeah, no. He carried it. There's no That's question. He just a foul. We side out and someone from Charlotte will go over there and end up. Well, I got to tell you, uh, Paul Silas. So, okay. And Paul Silas, well, we got Paul Silas for the rights to Charlie Scott. Paul Silas was an all pro player. And when he came to Boston, I asked him to be a bench guy. And he looked at me like he wanted to kill me. Right? And it took me two months to convince him that being the sixth man of the Celtics was a special thing. And he didn't believe me for the longest time. Until at the end of the year, after some great play coming off the bench, he ended up on the cover of Sports Illustrated. <laughs> So he became a believer in the six man. <laughs> nice man. Yeah. Very nice man. Well, he was, uh, I think, like the fourth president of the Players Association, too. Smart guy. Sounds on a 9 0 run here. 14 seconds on the shot clock for Charlotte. Williams forces one up. Catches a little net on the way by. Now once again the Celtics played a good defense. Yep. Now this is a good defensive five out there. Bradley, Bass, Pierce, KG. Cameron will take it. He got fouled. Gets up. No, he doesn't get up. No, he does. They help him up. That's part of the gig. Shallow foul is on number 55, Reggie Williams. That's his second personal, second team foul. Kevin Garnett will be at the line, shooting two. Williams with the foul underneath. Not that he was trying to commit a foul. He gets it. KG, first trip to the free throw line tonight. The Celtics have only been the line six times. Uh, well, that's that's what will happen when you take 23s. That's absolutely. Uh, you know, plenty of opportunities for people to go to the basket, just stop up fake, and there would be three guys jumping through the roof on top of you, and you'd get, be getting to the line. Here's a look at the free throws. I thought we had taken nine. No, eight of eight right now. First time since the start of last season that Kevin Garnett has had back to back 20 point games. Mike Gorman, Tom Lyons, and Greg Dickinson. Glad you could join us here as the Celtics look to continue their winning way as Kemba Walker hits a jump shot. But Boston is up 82 66 with six and a half to go here in the game. Kevin straight away. Nope. Rebound at Mullins. Five for Mullins. Walker. Kevin <laughs> is enjoying himself out there. And he gets the rebound. I tell you, Bradley did a heck of a job that time staying with him. And this kid really can dribble. Peters along the baseline. Wants to take Williams to the paint. Oh! Pinter's knocked down. Turns around, looks at the official. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Brown continues his magical evening here. Seven of seven off the bench, and we've got a timeout. 5:44 left to go in the game. 82-68. Sounds by 14. Time to go back to our Burlington, Massachusetts studios for a Sportsnet Central update with none other than Bob Newmeyer. Bob. Greatness moment, no question about what that moment is tonight. Paul Pierce moving into the number two spot on the Celtics all-time scoring list. Did it with a three-point field goal in the third quarter. And then came out to the standing ovation from the sellout crowd. You know, you can parse numbers a lot of different ways, but here's an interesting one from Dick Light. 
Only two NBA players in NBA history have more than 7,000 field goals, 1,500 three-point field goals, and 5,000 free throws. Only two players in NBA history, Paul Pierce and Reggie Miller. Really? Wow. Nice lay down by Paul right there. Comes up with another assist, his ninth of the night. By Ray Allen, and they're going to score the bucket. Reggie Williams, Celtics fouls on number 20. Fourth on Ray. That's his fourth personal third team foul. Well, it's uh, right out of the timeout. It's Pierce, rolls over the top, makes the defense move, and there was KG wide open going to the basket, and he up and unders. So that, uh, that lone defender traveling and couldn't get a piece of it. 84 71 back to 13 again. Over the top to KG, kicks it out to Bass. Pierce fakes the three. Back to Bass. Rondo out to Pierce. He's got a shoot. He sure does. And he does. Bass an offensive rebound in a crowd. Ray for three. Rebound to Mullins. Walker threw it away, but Williams was in the right spot. Williams going to the hoop with that left hand. He is left handed after all. 21 for Williams. Yeah, I'd love to see them double him. <laughs> Ray a leaner for two. Thought he was fouled. Eight of 14 shooting for Ray. He's got 17. Rondo now with 13 assists. And 13 is the difference in the game with under four minutes to play. Brown looking to get it back. It deflects off pass out of bounds. Charlotte will have 2.9 seconds to try to get a shot off. Chris Wilcox in and Kevin Garnett will sit down and get a nice hand too. 10 of 15 shooting for Garnett. Later tonight at Post Game Live, Tommy will be handing out the Nissan Tommy Award. Visit ChooseNissan.com or your local Nissan dealer. Well, that's offensive goaltending. No, I guess it's not. That was, uh, Byron Mullins. That's all for offensive goaltending. You watch this. Sure it is. That's offensive goaltending, <laughs> man. <laughs> Rondo with 27 assists now in the last two games. Pass. Good to finish. Having a nice game, five of eight, 13 points. Sasha Pavlovich is going to come in in a moment. Williams again going left. Rebound to Bass. Pierce finds Ray, sets his feet. Wilcox for two. Celtics with 29 assists on 39 baskets. Nahara. Walker will come up shooting. Rebound to Wilcox, gets it to Rondo. Rondo behind the back to himself. Pierce misses a three, rebound. Williams, he's off to the races. He's a two for Brown. Brown, the perfect evening, eight of eight from the field, 16 points off the bench. The 
Celtics had seven turnovers in the first 18 minutes of this game. Chris again. In the last 30 minutes of this game, they've had three. Rondo ties the season high with 14 assists. We're going to get a timeout. We'll take it to 153 on the clock. 92-77 Boston. Let's go to Gary, see what's coming up on Post Game Live, presented by New England Ford Dealers. Gary. That is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines, by KFC, by Nissan and your local Nissan dealer, by Speedy Oil Change and Tune-Up, by your New England Ford dealers, and by TD Bank. We are back for the final 153 of this one. The Celtics up 92-77. The Amica Game Ball autographed by Tommy Heinsohn will be awarded to a young Celtic fan at Children's Hospital Boston. Amica Insurance will also donate $500 to Children's Hospital Boston on behalf of that young fan, Amica. It's not just how you're covered, it's how you're treated. Celtics now have Steamsma, Johnson, Moore, Pavlovich, and Avery Bradley on the floor. Bradley aggressively out on Higgins, just trying to hold him off with one arm. Higgins gets it back with 10 on the shot clock. Drives to the basket, catches his own shot. You can't do that. Little note on Rajon Rondo tonight. It's the 105th career point assist double double of his career. And you say, okay, that's not really noteworthy. What is noteworthy of those 105, only twice has he had no turnovers in the game. Tonight, no turnovers for Rondo to go with 10 points and 14 assists. Third time in his career he's done that. Johnson, nope. Steams got a piece of that rebound. It'll come back Charlotte's way. This is going to be the ninth straight game the Celtics will have held a team to 90 or less points. Unless Derek Brown says, give me the ball four more times in the next minute. He's nine for nine from the field. Bradley lost it out of bounds. Out of bounds, Charlotte ball. Paul Pierce's night. No question about that. Under a minute to play. Brown, he's been the man off the bench. Get out. Get out of town. Get out of here. Get out of town. Ten for ten. I'm getting camp fed. <laughs> More. Jawan into the paint, lays it down. Steams from his shot, goes. Looks like quick, too. That's the boost problem. The Celtics have won nine of their last ten. Nahara drops to three. And that is going to do it. Moore will walk it across half court. Paul Pierce passes Larry Bird for number